In this video, I'm going to answer a couple of questions. One, what's ham radio? Two, what is ham radio field day all about? Then I'm going to show you a real ham radio station in operation. So take a second, click the subscribe button below for me, and come back after I let the magic smoke out of the box and we'll get to it. Let me tell you a little bit about ham radio. It's a group of people that have studied for and been granted a license to practice radio communications on an amateur level, which means we're not allowed to use our radio stations to make any money. It's just a hobby and we use it for experimentation with electronics. This license is granted by the Federal Communications Commission and along with it we are given a unique broadcast call sign, just like your local radio and television stations. Mine is K4FZG. We can use various types of transmissions to communicate, such as voice or CW, which is better known as Morse code. We can transmit video, and we can even use digital methods that send packets of text like an email or a tweet on Twitter that are broadcast um, through the air without the need of the internet. This is all done through our home-built stations that we put together that can be powered off of car batteries, generators, or even solar panels. It's this ability to communicate even though the power grid is out and cell phone communications are down that make amateur radio an essential volunteer service during times of disaster. It's during these times that we work closely with law enforcement and local emergency management to provide communications. Because of this unique ability, every June we participate in an event called Field Day where 30,000 hams, as we're called, drag out our emergency equipment and set up portable stations simulating a disaster. And over a 24-hour period, we try to make as many contacts with other stations as possible. All right, let's take a look at a ham shack in operation during the 2018 Field Day event. All right, what you're looking at is the Kenwood TS-480SAT mobile uh, ham radio. You see the base unit there. I got an arrow pointing to it. We also have a little control panel where we have our uh, frequency dial and all our controls for dialing in different uh, filters and settings and uh, everything we need to operate the radio. Um, the big large box in the back, that is a power supply. Um, you can typically run it off a 12 volt battery out of your car, but in this case I've got a power supply that provides 12 volts. I plug it into the wall and it provides 12 volts that uh, I send to the radio. Also to the left there you have a uh, uh, just a little HP laptop that runs uh, a logging software that keeps track of contacts who you, who you talk to. It can also use, be used to control the radio. All right, here's uh, something else I wanted to show you. Outside, there's an antenna hooked up to this radio. There's a, a cable that runs from the very top of this mast, you see. Runs down the mast and in through a window into the radio. And at the top, we also have wires that extend out um, in, the, in opposite directions, and these are, are different frequencies. We've got a 20 meter wire and a 40 meter wire on this particular antenna. All right, you see me sitting down there. I'm getting ready to test out the rig in this contest, field day contest. They give you the day before the contest actually starts to set up all your gear. Uh, and here I am sitting down. I'm going to try uh, getting in contact with somebody and see how the rig's working. Let's listen in. Kilowatt four, Fox Trot, Zulu Golf. Roger, Roger. The name here is Chuck Charlie Howe, Uncle Charlie King. You were in Wilmington, North Carolina, and you're about a 5757. Over. All right. We just uh, had a contact with Sierra 57 Delta X ray. Uh, his name is Slavko, and he's in Slovenia. And here's a picture of Slavko with his rig. Looks like a nice setup. Really nice setup. Um, and we were using the uh, Kenwood 
TS 480 SAT 100 watts out of North Carolina to Slovenia uh, 4,000 miles maybe over the ocean far far away anyway good contact we're testing for field day field day is, starts tomorrow at 2 p.m. here on the east coast so um, I think we've got it set up and it's working so we're going to record some contacts tomorrow and show you those as well as you heard in that contact, we used kind of a code to make our message as brief and concise as possible. He started out with the code QRZ, which means who's calling, and then I responded with my call sign, which I said phonetically. In a typical contact, both stations give their call sign, their name, location, and a signal report, which is a two-digit number, the first digit being the station's readability ranging from 1 to 5, and the second being the, the station's signal strength from 1 to 9. In our exchange, we both gave a report of 5-7, which is code for you're perfectly readable and your signal is moderately strong. Now, during field day, the message exchange is a little different, as you'll hear. Each station gives their call sign and then their class and their section. Your class is an alphanumeric code signifying the number of transmitters at your location and what type, what type of station you are. I was operating one delta, which means... It's just me operating from my home for, uh, with uh, conventional power. Look up in the corner and you'll see a list of the different classes that participate in field day. The last part of your exchange is your section. And this is just your location within the United States. And usually it's uh, your state's abbreviation. I'm in North Carolina, so you'll hear my full exchanges. Please copy 1 Delta November Charlie. And that tells the, the station I'm talking to that it's just me operating out of my home and I'm located in North Carolina. All right, now let's, let's listen to some of the field day exchanges I made. I didn't, I didn't spend a lot of time this year on field day, uh, maybe an hour or so. And it made a dozen or more uh, contacts, so it was pretty, uh, the, the radio was working very well and the bands were open as, uh, also, so um, it was fun. Let's listen in. Kilowatt 4, Foxtrot, Zulu, Golf. Kilowatt 4, Foxtrot, Zulu, Golf. Okay, uh, Kilowatt 4, Fox, Zulu, Golf. Please copy 2 Alpha, Eastern Massachusetts. Echo Mike Alpha. QSL, the 2 Alpha, Eastern Mass. Please copy 1 Delta, November Charlie, 1 Delta, North Carolina. Okay, thanks for North Carolina. QSL, Field A, K1 RK, K1 Romeo Kilo. Kilowatt 4, Foxtrot, Zulu, Golf. Kilowatt 4, Foxtrot, Zulu, Golf. Please copy 6, Foxtrot, November, Lima, India. QSL? QSL, please copy 1 Delta, November, Charlie. Roger the 1 Delta, November, Charlie. 73, thanks for the contact. Whiskey 2, Golf, Sierra, Bravo, Field Day. Charlie, your 1 Alpha, New Hampshire. Uh, thanks, QRZ, K1 Alpha, Romeo, QRZ. Kilowatt 4, Foxtrot, Zulu, Golf. This is Zulu, Golf. Kilowatt 4, Foxtrot, Zulu, Golf. Hey, 4 SAG, your 1 Alpha, New Hampshire. QSL, your 1 Delta, November, Charlie. Thanks, QRZ. Yeah. Kilo 4, Foxtrot, Zulu, Golf. Kilo 4, QSL, the 3 Alpha, Indiana. Please copy 1 Delta, North Carolina. 1 Delta, November, Charlie. Kilowatt 4, Foxtrot, Zulu, Golf. Kilowatt 4, Foxtrot, Zulu, Golf. Roger, Roger. Okay, I got the one alpha. Uh, what was it? Southern New York? Uh, QSL, one alpha, Eastern New York. Please copy one delta, November, Charlie. One delta, North Carolina. Roger, Roger. Thank you, field day, thank you, 
Kilowatt 4, Foxtrot Zulu Golf. Kilowatt 4, Foxtrot Zulu Golf, please copy 3 Alpha Western New York. QSL the 3 Alpha Western New York, please copy 1 Delta November Charlie, 1 Delta North Carolina. Hey, 1 Delta North Carolina, you got a huge signal up here, good luck. 7 3. Thank you. Here's a few of the contacts I made during Field Day 2018. Uh, I wanted to show my subscribers a little bit about what ham radio is and, and field day. And also the radio that's been featured in this video is going to be sold. So uh, but right after we finished up our contacts here, it was boxed up, as you can see, and it's getting ready to go to its new home. Anybody that's looking for uh, a <coughs> high-frequency ham radio, the, the Kenwood SAT 480, is a, an excellent radio. It's designed to be a mobile unit, but a lot of people use them as base stations as well, like you saw here. So, Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you on the next video. All right, it's June 23rd. It's 1 o'clock. Field day's just about over. We're going to box this, uh, this radio up, this uh, Kenwood TS-480 SAT, and get it ready for its new home. We've got the uh, control panel back here. We've got our base unit with our power cord. We've got two control cords. One is a, is the cord that goes from the, the control unit to the base unit. And this other one is a control cord for hooking up the, hooking the base unit to a computer if you want to try to operate the rig in your computer. I'm going to throw that in with it. And then we've got the microphone. Base plate right in there That's for mounting the control panel. We've got a couple L brackets. Those are for mounting the base unit in, a, in an automobile. I think that's a, a base mount for mounting your control unit in a car. I'm not sure about that, but I'm sure the instruction manual points that out. And then I've got a little bag here that's got. Uh, mounting hardware where you can mount the L brackets to the radio and such as that. I think it's got a couple extra fuses and different different accessories. So that goes in there. This folds over. Uh, we're also this comes over the top. So let's put these in there. We've got the instruction manual, a schematic. Put those in here. And that's it, man. It's ready to, ready to go to its new home. I hope whoever gets it enjoys it.